Hello everyone, this is Chad with Good Creative Tutorial. Today I want to go over the Paint Bucket tool. Now, if you want to fill just an, a layer, like say I just have a layer in Photoshop and it is just empty and I just want to fill the entire area, don't use the Paint Bucket tool. Just select a foreground color and select a color and just press Alt Backspace if you're on a PC or uh, Option Delete on a Mac. And that's a much better way to fill an entire area or, you know, on a, on a layer that's no content is on it. Or if you, even if there is content on it, you just want to fill that layer with uh, a hue, you can fill that layer with that foreground color. If you have, if you want to fill the layer with whatever the background color is, you can just press control backspace or command delete on the Mac and that will do the same thing but fill that layer that you're on with the background color instead of the foreground color. That said, there might be some instances where you want to fill an area with a certain hue, certain color, with a paint bucket tool, and there's a couple settings that you can use up here. It makes a little bit different effect. So if you wanted to fill an area, let's just say a circle up here, that you should just do alt backspace. All right, that would just fill it a lot easier than the paint bucket tool. Uh, however, if you just want to fill a certain area, if you want to just fill a certain area in a photo and just adjust the tolerance so that it only fills certain areas related to that hue, then you would want to use the paint bucket tool. So go ahead and open up a photo in Photoshop. And once you select the paint bucket tool, you just press G and it'll select the gradient tool and click and hold onto that and then just select the paint bucket tool. Uh, you'll see over here you can fill with a foreground color up on the options bar or you can fill with a pattern. So what that does is if I just clicked here somewhere then it filled that area with a color. Now if I set it to pattern and you can set whichever pattern you want here then you could fill it with a pattern. By default it should be on foreground color. There's a couple modes here uh, that affect how it would, how it interacts with the pixels underneath it. Now, you can also just do that over in the layer blending mode if you wanted to apply it to an entire area, of course. Uh, opacity, of course, is just uh, all the way to the left. It would be very transparent. And then all the way to the right, it would be completely opaque. It wouldn't be transparent at all. And then tolerance is if you have it set to zero, it's only going to fill that pixel that you click on along with any other pixel if it's touching it, if contiguous is selected, or if it's not selected, any pixel in this area that's the same exact hue. If you click and drag it over a little bit, it's a little bit more tolerant, meaning it will include other colors, uh, other pixels that are related to that hue that you're clicking. If you press caps lock, uh, you can be a lot more precise, or you can just have the default. Either way, we'll toggle that. So if I click and let go, you'll notice it fills this area with the blue hue. I'm going to undo that. I'll just set it. That's a tolerance of 39. I'll bump it over to about 118 or so. Click, and then it fills a lot more. Bring it over to about 15. Doesn't fill in as much. Now, so anti-alias is it softens the edge, or it just makes the edge a little bit less uh, distinct or rough if you have anti-alias selected. If you don't have it selected, the edges are a little bit rougher between the area that's filled and the area that's not filled. So I leave that on by default. Contiguous is just adjacent, so if I click here, only this area was filled. Now if I don't have contiguous selected and click there again, now this area was filled even though there's no pixels touching uh, pixels that would be connected to the original clicking area. All right, then you see the last option here, all layers. What that is, if you hover over it, it says uh, fill composite image. You need to bump up the tolerance a lot in this example, but so if I click, and I have two photos here, if I click here, Notice that it also interacts with this layer below it, this photo that's in a separate layer. Now, it doesn't fill that layer below it. it. It samples from all the layers in the whole stack when it's deciding what to fill and what not to fill 
according to its current tolerance and contiguous settings. That's the basics of the paint bucket tool. I think most of the time you're going to do alt backspace if you just want to fill a layer. It's just when you want to fill a certain area, uh, those are the context that when we would use the paint bucket tool. Thanks. Thank you.